Hello YouTubers, this is Murr171, today I'm bringing you a new handmade saber saw. Now as you can tell off the bat, yes it does have paracord handles, and this is a double cobra weave. This is added for the comfort, and not necessarily for handles, so you could easily grab them as a handle, but as to put my hand through and be able to grab, so that I'm not actually putting any strain on my fingers as much as I'm pulling with my arms. Now you can see that I've made this out of a D-clip that I've attached the paracord to, and then a snare cable. Now if I attach the paracord directly to the snare cable or the hole in the chain, it will uh, fray the paracord over time, and I wanted to prevent that. Another thing about this is, is if I wanted to take off the paracord handle and wrap a bundle of Kindle up, I could, and still use this as my finger pulls, like the Coughlin saw that I demoed previously uses. But, Either way, this is just a good way to store 20 feet of paracord and gives you a D-clip, which you can also hang in a tree, use as a pulley, etc, etc. Now as for the chain, I use 24 inches a chainsaw chain, and you'll say, but Mar, how can you use just standard chainsaw chain? It only cuts on one direction. The answer is yes, it does only cut in one direction, but instead of alternating the teeth every two lengths, which gives you really a tooth in one direction every four lengths, this is just as a link, a teeth on every other link. So it cuts fairly fast, and I'm going to demo that for you. In fact, I'm going to demo that for you right now. So here we go. Put my hands through the loops, like so. Well, first got to flip it over to where the teeth are. All right. Now, here we go. See how fast it cuts. Now, I don't know about you, but that is taking huge pieces from my view. Now, and you can see that I've done this once before, just in the first take of this video. This does give you a pretty good workout on your arms. Uh, that's about 30 seconds right there. Now, that's about 30 seconds. Let's see what we've got. Well, we at least have two inches going in. From the other side, about the same two inches. Now, that was fairly easy, 30 seconds, as you can tell in about one minute, I would have probably cut this uh, seven, eight inch thick limb clean in half. No real problem. Now, compare that to something, compare it to for you. Here's the Coughlin wire saw, shown you before. which is considerably less comfortable to use, I might add. And now that I've actually decided that it's wearing too much on my fingers, I'm gonna put it up. But in about five seconds, this is what you get. About a quarter of the way through the bark. So, obviously less aggressive than my handmade, I should say, homemade saber saw. Now another reason I decided to home make one of these rather than buy one off of popular websites or camping catalogs is it's number one, this is a much better handle setup than what they've got with that cheap felty crap that they like to put on them. And uh, number two, I can make it the way I want it. Like I said, I could put the loops on it big enough, so that's nice. Get to add a D-clip to it so I can keep my finger holes even if I have to bundle some Kindle up. And uh, it, it's just every bit as effective. Not to mention, I wanna say everything said and done, I have about 12, 13 dollars into this guy and maybe 30 minutes worth of assembly time to an hour, including the, the uh, Cobra weaves here handle so really it just seemed like a better deal to just build one than buy one cheaper more effective 
can uh, control the quality myself. And I always like knowing, you know, if what I'm taking along out into the, whoa, into the bush is uh, useful or not. But it is easy as can be to saw with this guy. As you can tell, it's pretty effective. Certainly going through the core of the tree now. Oh, and there you have it. So about another 15 seconds. It would have taken 45 seconds to go through this limb. But this is Mar 171 showing you my homemade saber saw. And uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And uh, I'll come up with some more ideas for, you know, campers and hunters and etc. This is Mar 171 signing off. Thank you for watching.